Hey everybody, this is Mike with Buzz Talks. I want to give you a quick reaction review to the third episode of The Mandalorian. This is going to be a relatively spoiler-free one, with me touching on things that they that don't really tell you much about the plot that's going to happen in the show, or what's going to happen next. But these are just things that uh, you should already know from watching the last two episodes, and a general reaction review of what just happened. It's early Friday morning, I just watched it. And I'm a Star Wars kid. I have this inherent bias for this stuff. Uh, I get excited when I see it. So I told myself that I would watch this episode objectively. I would pick apart and criticize this episode as much as I could so I wouldn't come off as just another Star Wars obsessed reviewer. But come on. This episode titled The Sin was the best one yet. <laughs> uh, it's better than the pilot, in my opinion. And I love the pilot. It channeled Western films a lot here, and did the best kind of more realistic action films. And I can't believe they managed to pack all of that in just another 34 minutes. And I don't mind that it's so short. It's tight, and there's no wasting time here with endless exposition, but there's plenty of quick references which flesh out this universe more in terms of where we are with the Mandalorians and what's happened in the greater galaxy. We get a lot more of that kind of meta stuff going on now in this universe. If they just released this one episode as a standalone short film, I would have paid to see it in theaters, and then I would have gone to see it again. And after you watch it, think about that. Imagine if this episode was standalone, beginning and done with Mandalorian. It would have been awesome. But it isn't standalone, and by the end there's all these questions raised about who we might see entering the show and how we might see other characters act in future episodes and where the plot is going to continue to go. Uh, lots of questions here. There's a lot of dialogue here uh, with references to previous movies and we even sneaked in a cameo from a minor character from the original trilogy and let's see if you can spot it. There's one major wow moment here that happens and I thought, yes, like this is Star Wars. I literally spoke out loud, yes. Um, so look forward to that and comment below where, what was your yes moment in the in this show. Uh, for music, one of my favorite scenes from the second episode was the bounty hunter fight, which was done in silence, no music in the background at all. And I thought this made the fight more realistic, more raw, you don't see it very often, and I liked seeing it here. Um, and again, in this episode, we've got this similar music, but it's slight in action scenes. It's, it's complementing action rather than driving the story. Um, we also get music in similar situations, uh, and both similar in location and emotion. Um, and we've now got the what we can see is the full complement of what they have to offer musically for the show, which I love so far. It's not relying on classic John Williams Star Wars music, which works, and it gets fans frothing at the mouth here, but instead it grabs thematic elements from classic westerns, Japanese films, and mixed in with this Black Sabbath-like tune for Mandalorian group scenes. We see characters in situations where they act rationally and realistically here and that's what I'm liking about the show. We had the Mandalorian fighting off Jawas and getting hit by them and embarrassedly getting beaten by them in the last and that's kind of what might happen in a situation. We, we always watch these action films and the character just flies through without any problems at all um, but realistically bad things might happen. Silly things might happen. You might fall down once in a while before you get up. Um, so in the Mandalorian, he's the hero, and he like he's likely to exceed to succeed in his efforts, but he's gonna have a hell of a time doing it in this show, and I like that. Uh, the producers managed to bring emotion from 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 the viewers from a seemingly emotionless character here, and Pedro Pascal's fight with morality is displayed through a handful of dialogue and a few simple gestures so far, and that's that's another thing that I really enjoy that we might see coming. They're staying away from the cheesiness almost completely so far, um, which I've found so off-putting from the last five Skywalker Saga movies. There is, however, one cringeworthy scene in this episode, and so guess, what am I referring to? What made you cringe in this show, if anything? Hopefully they'll continue to stick to this more mature Western-influenced theme inspired by the original trilogy, 
and it really seems like the show is made for older fans of the Star Wars universe who actually might remember sitting at home watching reruns of Clint Eastwood movies on TV as a kid. I think the producers convinced Disney that they should do it this way. They'd go more mature, they'd go easy on the blood spatter and the swearing, but write something that long-term fans will enjoy. Lots of references to the old show, but general audiences who are unfamiliar with these Star Wars, uh, Star Wars but enjoy those old westerns will enjoy. They got the okay from Disney by promising that they'll sell a ton of Mandalorian action figures and lots and lots of baby Yoda toys. So once you finish this episode, you will want more. I'm hoping to actually get more dialogue from our major characters in the future. Maybe Pascal can show his face, his range as an actor. But I'm not sure if we're ever actually going to get there based on this episode. Oh, and fans, go and see the sci-fi movie Prospect with Pedro Pascal. It was my favorite film I saw last year. I think producers actually saw that small film and Pedro Pascal in it and said that's what we want to do with the Mandalorian. So they cast him in the role. And I'm hoping that Pascal essentially plays a very similar similar character and does the same things he does with his character in Prospect in this Mandalorian show. So that was a quick one. Let me know what you thought in the comments below if you watched the episode. Let me know what you're excited about seeing. And make sure you come back and catch our deep dive into this episode, which we should have up tomorrow. Thanks. Remember to like, comment, keep watching.